Hi guys, I've made a ton of videos on part-time jobs but this video is one of its own because by the end of the video you would get to know what are the highest paying part-time jobs that every student can actually get into and earn really a good amount of money. Now, I request you guys to watch this video till the end because these recommendations you would never find on Google as well. This is all based on personal experiences that I have been seeing people working and they get paid and all of that stuff. So without any further ado, let's get started. The order of jobs that I will be mentioning is in no particular order and something important that I want to put out is the pay scale is subjective to change. It is based on how much the employer is wishing to pay. But um, the jobs that I mentioned, I would be mentioning the average of the minimum, you know, basically the average and you would be getting paid somewhere in between um, or nearly the pay that I mentioned itself. Now I would want to give you a word of caution that is if you are an international student coming here and working then you have to abide by the visa rules which means you need to work 20 hours a week or 40 hours a fortnight. You shouldn't go against the visa rules whichever job you are doing. Now before I start I would want to say that I've created a playlist of the videos which has information about Australia, part-time jobs and all of that. I will put that somewhere on the screen so that you can actually have a look at it and watch those videos. The first job that we would be considering is a crew member in a food chain industry. Now food chain industry is one of the most profitable business out there and you get paid really well. The thing important that you guys have to know is a casual employee will get paid more than a part-time employee. So the less hours you work, the more pay you get. Now food chain industries, I mean by KFC, McDonald's and Hungry Jacks and these kind of um, places. Now in McDonald's, as a casual employee, you earn somewhere in between $25 to $27 per hour. But as a part-time employee, you earn somewhere in between $21 to $25. And Hungry Jacks doesn't pay you as much as McDonald's and KFC would pay. The second job that we can consider is tutoring now if you have a good solid knowledge on certain subjects and you wish to impart that knowledge to others then this is the right job that you can do there are various tutoring agencies here such as learn made tutor do keep my grads tutor bright and a lot of those they employ they they hire employees and they hire tutors in order to tutor the um, kids now however you require a working with children check when you're working as a tutor that would charge around 120 dollars but the validity is for five years so it's not a loss at all you could also uh, be a private tutor and the pay scale um, for for tutoring is when you're a private home tutor you would get and you would charge somewhere in between $20 minimum to $40 an hour maximum if you are working through an agency then you would be getting somewhere in between $25 to $28 per hour this is one of the most amazing um, jobs that you can get to do but you don't get more hours as in you can get to tutor around 3-4 hours a week but, but you know it's one of the most amazing jobs that you can do the third job that we can consider is being an office manager or admin assistant. Now small or medium sized businesses generally need admin assistance for about 15 to 20 hours a week. Now these kind of jobs would be a target for all of the students. You can get into such kind of jobs and they, they would be paying somewhere around 25 to 30 dollars per hour. I know a lot of people who are getting paid around $25 per hour being an office manager or admin assistant for a small business. However, you got to be uh, having a solid fluency of the language and also good organization skills so that you can manage things well. The fourth job that we can consider is being a bartender. Bartenders have got great demand in Australia and the, the pay that the pay scale is being increasing over the period of time. Um, the average pay of a bartender is somewhere in between $23 to $25 per hour. But however, you can increase the pay as you increase your uh, experience, you know. Last job that I would be mentioning is customer service officers uh, working for Metro. Now Metro is one of those uh, government related organizations that deals with train and public transport. If you are working as a customer service officer for these kind of organizations you get paid really good and, and you get paid extra when you're working during public holidays or over weekends. The average pay ranges from $25 to $28 but during holidays 
or during weekends you get paid somewhere in between 30 to 32 dollars i hope you guys really love this video if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share the video bye